Hi, everybody. <laughs> Delise is here. Janet's here. Instagram is here. Hello. I have you as close as I can get you. Um, so we're going to do part two on this painting. You guys were rock stars last night. You were so supportive. I decided I wanted to do um, this painting because um, Miss Betty, who's on here all the time watching and supporting, is always asking for a wintry scene. And I thought, let's do it. So um, she has decided to gift it to somebody else. And I think that's so fun that I'm happy to be able to participate in that too. So spreading the love all over the place. This is totally different as far as something I haven't done in a long time. I think the last winter scene I did was last year at Christmas time. Um, but before that, I did a lot of barns. I did a lot of cabins. and But I usually ended up doing them with like a field of flowers. Surprise. Um, so you guys responded so well last night that I just thought, let's go ahead and do part two on this. What I want to do is I need to fill in the trees. They're too sparse for me. I want to cap them with more bright white snow. So I have an acrylic out here that I'm going to, this is all DIY paint so far. And so I'm going to cap the trees with more snow and more on the cabin. I'm going to put a little bit of a glow here in the windows. I'm going to bring one of these or two of these trees possibly over here and have a great kind of a bigger one. Um, and kind of enhance. Some of you asked for footprints. I'm not really sure. Let's just kind of play that by ear. Um, I did get a little red cardinal on there last night, and then I'm going to ship this painting off. So hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. It's perfect. We are waiting on 15 inches of snow tonight. Oh, my gosh. Martha, that's crazy town. We Kids were home from school uh, over here in Oklahoma. They We had four inches last night. I think they'll end up going back tomorrow and then having uh, their their Christmas break. So what I need to do for right now is start filling in the trees. So I'm going to get my Monet's garden, which I use DIY paint. This is actually what all of this is on here. So the way I did the trees yesterday, I ended up using just my mascot from the Turquoise Iris collection. And I don't know. Do you guys think we should do another one when this is over? Hi, Betty. Hi, Lolly. Do you think we should do another one as soon as this one's over? Like, you know, starting another one tomorrow, kind of change it up a little bit and actually make this available for someone. I received quite a few messages today for people asking if it was available. I don't know, Matthew, are you here, babe? You sure are quiet. I'm here. You You're won't here? let me get a, a word in. <laughs> Take a breath. Take a breath. Sorry, right, babe. I'm gonna I would feel... like to say you are rocking that hat tonight, though. My hat? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Debbie Beard bought me this last year for Christmas. She got it at Anthropology, And uh, I figure I should change my hats up. Uh, people are saying you probably should do another, yes. You think I should do another one? Yes. Would you be interested in watching well, that? Betty, or... Betty said definitely. Betty says so Betty, I knew Betty if, would. If Betty says do it, you better do it. <laughs> well, I wanted to fill them in a little bit more. I What brush do you guys use for your trees? I Since I don't do a whole lot of this type of tree... I love using the mascot, but I don't do a whole lot of them, you guys. So there could have been a tree that would have worked better. But I'm going to pull one up over here. In just a second, we're going to pull this up. And then we're going to cap with more white and make this look. We started with a barn, but I feel like as the night went on last night and we were working on it, it started to look more like a cabin. Um, Matt said put the little chimney on it. So done. And then I will get this shipped off to wherever it needs to go. So Tasha Watkins... If you want me to ship it to you, I can do that, or I can ship it on to your sister. You just tell me, and um, we will get a sealer over it. And some of you suggested the golden ticket. I don't think I'm going to use golden ticket. Betty, thanks for sharing it a bunch. You're so sweet. Uh, yes, another one is fantastic. Lydia, thank you. It's good to see you on here. Um, Stacy Hartman, I was practicing trees just last night. The fan brush was the best. Okay. That's good to know. That's kind of where my instinct is to always go towards. But I'm thinking you guys, a lot of you that have been painting longer than me or, you know, just would have better suggestions. So I just wasn't sure. I'm, I'm totally open to hearing your suggestions. So I'm going to also add Bohemian Blue, guys. Um, Karen Brown, an angle brush works well for branches. An angle brush works well for branches. That's good to know. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get some of that. Thank baby. you, 
everyone for sharing. That really means a lot to us. It does. Thank you. So, okay, we'll start another one tomorrow then. We'll just do one and then I'll just make it available. Um, and then I've got a new piece of furniture that I want to get started on and have it in the journal, issue two, because that's going to come out before we know it. Charlene Man Nix, I, <clears throat> I can't see what you're writing. I don't know if I missed something. I apologize if I did. Oh, did you miss her question? I, I may have. If, 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 if I did, I apologize. Just repost it if, if you need me to read something. It's funny. We're not able to see all the comments. For some reason, the people that comment more often we're able to see their comments. It's almost like Facebook and YouTube pick. Uh, it's it's kind of interesting, and I it has nothing to do with you personally, but um, okay. Delisa would like to know what color you're using on the fan brush right now. Okay, so I was using Monet's Garden, which is my emerald green, and then Bohemian Blue, and I was just simultaneously dipping in there. Oh gosh, please don't spill. So now I want to load them up with some more white, but let's get another tree over here. I feel like I need one that's closer. And I knew Heather had made that suggestion as well. This gray in here that created the shadows was skeleton key. So it's like that greeny green gray that we have. That's beautiful for DIY. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Matthew, did we get Irma's address last night? Um, she did not text me. She didn't text you? So I did not, I did not get <laughs> Um, Miss Irma, we need to ship this stocking cap to you. I don't know how she would contact. Well, she can email me. Email me, Dion at the turquoiseiris.com. Let's get some more trees going. Uh, email Dion at the turquoiseiris.com and then um, we'll get you, we'll get that stocking cap shipped to you. Jasmine says, Matt, if you are a member on YouTube, it pushes your comments to the top even if you commented after someone else. Wow. Okay, so if you're a member of our YouTube group, which is the $10 or $15 group that we have on YouTube, Matt and I, it apparently it pushes your comments ahead of everybody else's, which I did not know that. Uh, we got Monica mm -hmm. Randall Mercer on here tonight. Hi, Monica. She said, love the winter scene. I've been practicing trees tonight. Oh, sweet girl. I've had several on here saying they've been practicing some trees. That's so great. You guys could probably teach me a few things. Christine Adler, what brand is that emerald green? It's amazing. Oh, it's DIY. This is DIY paint. This is all I use on my furniture, and I like to use it on the backgrounds of my painting. So this is Monet's Garden. This was one of the colors that I got to come up with last year. Who is spooning? How do you use spoons for paint? Please tell. Uh, they're talking about using uh, for pain management. There's been a pretty oh, good conversation. Pain management, okay. Yeah, yeah, there's been a good conversation on YouTube about uh, pain management um, between Lolly and Irma and, and, okay. and some others. Okay, so Instagram's probably wondering what in the world's going on because I have decided to stream on Instagram tonight as well, right there, but they can't even see me. So I'm so glad you guys are here and watching. This is part two of this painting. If you are on Facebook or YouTube, you can go and watch part one where we started from a blank canvas yesterday and just jumped in mm. and went for it. And then today I'm actually gifting this painting away because um, I thought, well, this would be fun. Why not? We're continuing, continuing our spread love challenge that we've been doing. So I have to paint over a little bit of the house, I think. Uh, Jasmine really likes your mug. Christine Adler says thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, a fence as well. That's what I was going to do. I thought I might put like a little thing of a fence going here with you a little gate. Oh. oh, we said gate at the oh, same time, geez. baby. You can't say anything the rest of the night. <laughs> Jinx. I can't say anything? Unless you buy me a coat. Is that? I buy you a coat? Yeah, that's the, uh, yeah. Is that the rule? You rules? say, jeans, you can't talk. And then, you know, you have, in order to talk, you have to go buy that person a coat. Dad gum. So you're not going to be able to say anything for a very long time because you word. won't buy me a Coke. I do not let you drink Coke. If you drink Coke, you don't do it around me. Coke kills. Okay, so I'm doing the green and then we'll come back in with crinoline and add in the white snow too. Uh, Michelle Ingleby, I hope I said that right. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm so preoccupied with your hat. Can't turn away from it. Aren't you hot from it? <laughs> oh, no, not at all. It, 
it's kind of chilly in her in her studio, right? It's chilly in my studio, but um, I walk around cold she when knows. it's winter. This is why I do not care for winter. Um, I just stay I stay chilled. So I have my house shoes on. I have a sweatshirt on. I have socks on, and I will put this on and leave it on all day. Uh, Bass wife twenty six on the tubes. Hello everyone from snowy Connecticut. They're getting 12 to 20 inches. Holy schmoly. Holy moly. We mm -hmm. you literally have to dig yourself out of yeah. that. Yeah. You have, do you put the chains on your tires <clears throat> when you have that much snow? I have no idea. Well, it's, I think it's just a lot different than what we get, honey. Ours is like really wet and it turns into ice really quick. I don't think that happens in Connecticut. Really? Why do you think that? It's because it's just, it's just flat out cold. It never melts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so ours melts like when it hits the ground. Yeah, it melts when it hits the ground and it just turns into ice. Okay. All right. So I also added these colors here. This is a navy. This is Hey Sailor. And then I also added that, um, what is that color that we made? A kind of a lilac color that we made with the mica for the old school? No, no old school there, Buttercup. Little black dress? No. New. New. Hmm. All right. <laughs> um, that's that's what no, but they have snow tires on. They do I have think, snow yeah, tires. Yeah, snow okay. tires. I think are what determines a snow tire. I think it has like the metal studs, right, in, in the tire. I think that's correct. And don't be making yourself look silly. I think that's correct. I'm not sure. Oh, Abby, I know. So see, um, Betty says see. they could get up to 18 inches where she's at. Get them groceries. Goodness gracious. Kidding. So I also put in a little 57. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's quite a bit of color because every tree needs turquoise and every house does too. I'm just saying. Irma says it's looking amazing. Oh, thanks, Irma. You're you're so sweet. Uh, Delisa Slim. I hope I said that right. S L I M P. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got to get this paint. Love this. Oh. Thank you. Uh, Joanne, she says snow tires are mandatory in Quebec. Ooh, Quebec. Uh, Abby, Abby, excuse me, Abby, Abby. Uh, yeah, I live in Alaska. Um, stud, I'm uh, called stud tires. Okay, thank you. They're a thing. I, I stud see, tires I see, are yeah. a thing. They're called studded tires. Okay, okay that makes sense. Okay, I got you. I am having a ball. So now, now, because yesterday I wasn't looking at a picture and I felt a little kind of lost, but now that we have the picture, I'm feeling, feeling good. I got this. Okay. So Derek, Derek's throwing some knowledge. Okay. He, he said, he does. Uh, basically snow tires are just deep grooves in the snow and snow tires. Okay. So it's just like just deeper tread maybe. So it grips better. It's not like our street tires, you know, you don't have, you don't have to have that much uh, molded depth to them, I think is what I'm trying to say. Maybe not. Maybe we should just quit talking about it. <laughs> yes, Lindsay Fuente, I should have known that name. Stud tire, I agree. Oh, my word. I've been called stud muffin my whole life. Oh, my word. <laughs> I don't know how did muffin come up, though. Stud muffin, are they? I don't know. Muffin, maybe because I'm, I'm just so adorable. Wow. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, wow. Abby quit. Y'all hear her? She is just talking at the storm back there. Betty, yes, deeper tread. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Okay, we gotta let that set up for a little bit and then we'll put in some bright white on the caps of our tree. Uh, Lisa Dixon, how did the crinoline not look yellow on the snow? Does it have a yellow hue? Crinoline is a yellow. Crinoline is kind of a yellow, and that's what I'm using for the snow. Remember, I sprayed it with that watered-down yellow, the, the um, queen bee, and so there's that yellow glow up in the sky, and then um, I wanted to take that warmth consistency into the snow. So that's the color I've been using in creating the texture. 
but I'm going to put a bright white on the caps of the tree in the house now. Bright white, and this is an acrylic. I just put a little bit of acrylic on my pan. Okay, I want to kind of see a raise of hands out there, out there in the uh, the, the vast world of the internet. Okay, what? I watched a really oh, good. Oh no! I did. I watched. You're a, showing your age. I no no. This is it's timeless. I really? watched a really good documentary right before we got on here about the Bee Gees. Does do, does does anybody out there know the Bee Gees? And if you know them, did you like their music? I'm gonna put a bunch of snow on top of this house. We're gonna get a fence going on here in a second. Lolly says BGs, yes, yes, Delisa Dixon. Okay, you gotta check it out. It came on HBO. Um, it's called The BGs. I think that's the name of it. Um, I did not realize how much good music they had, and they wrote it all, every bit of it, all their songs they wrote. Is quite yeah, that's correct, Lily. So there's only one brother left. Um, just it, it was I was amazed. I couldn't stop watching. It was almost like a train wreck. I was like one good song after another. Pretty interesting story. So um, I didn't know much about them. Other, the only thing I knew about the Bee Gees was the Saturday Night Fever movie. They they literally out of that soundtrack they had four number ones, and that's the only thing I knew about them. And uh, Anyway, pretty amazing stuff, actually. So, if they, you like music, no, they have some good songs. Yeah, if you like the '70s music, um, some good songs, phenomenal. And not only that, but after the '70s, they wrote tons of music for a lot of other people. They wrote uh, wrote for Dolly Parton. They wrote for uh, oh my gosh, um, Dionne Warwick. Uh, my namesake. Yeah, just all kinds of man. They were really good. They are Aussies. Yes, they are, Lolly. I believe they are. Pretty amazing. But anyway, so I get in here and I, I pulled up on my phone, Bee Gees, and uh, John walks in. She goes, Oh my word. She goes, You know you're going to have to stop that, right? <laughs> you know you can't play that. But anymore. I was rocking out to the Bee Gees. So. Music. No, they 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 do have good music. And was, yeah, a lot was, of the, I think the song you played, we realized was in one of our one of our movies we watch. Yeah, all the time. I, you know, it's amazing how many how many how many of their songs were in movies or are in movies still to this day. Pretty cool. I could I could I could dance to some of that. I could do that. Is it, I think, I think, is it Barry? I, I don't remember which one is still alive. I think it's Barry, but I'm not sure. All right, am I boring, you guys? No, you're good, honey. Just keep going. Uh, so hard. I feel like I'm boring. Yes, Debbie. So Debbie, Debbie Winters Collins has seen it, and she, she really liked it. Um, I, I, think, I was just more amazed at the fact that they wrote every single song. I mean, the three of them. It was, it was quite amazing. Barry's the one that's still alive. Yeah, okay. Are they bro Were they brothers? Is that what you were saying, guys? Yes, yeah, they're, yeah. All, like, three of them? Or? Yes, yes, and they, yes, they were. All were there. there, were their parents in Australia music or something? Like, I, what I, got I, them uh, in it? Like, were their parents famous musicians? They or? didn't talk about their parents a whole lot, um, the, the parts that I saw. Mm -hmm. um, they, you know, once once they moved to the states and Florida, they their parents came over with them, but um, okay. I didn't, didn't talk much about them. It was mainly the dynamic of the brothers and the, and the songs. Were there any other siblings, or were they just there the were three? four? Three of them were older, and I think they had a younger one. His name is Andy Gibb, I think. I think he was in the documentary as well. But um, he didn't sing. He was no, he did. He actually had his own little band and oh. pretty popular. Had some number one hits. Okay. That his brother uh, helped him write. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because then you always feel bad for the sibling left out of the game. Uh, that's why twenty six. The painting is flipped from Instagram. Is there the cabin? On there is the cabin on the right. Mm -hmm. I understand. 
Um, I see it on Instagram and on here. It's so weird, isn't it? Um, so when you look at the canvas, the cabin's on the left. This is my right hand. And this, so this is the right and then this is the left. So I know it's crazy looking. I get it. It's so weird. Um, I'm going to get that old 57 out and get a little bit of that in here in these close-up trees. We've got a teaspoon on here tonight. Girl, where you been? I'm so glad you're here. She's been Christmas shopping. Yeah. Matt's been wrapping gifts. I did paperwork all day today. Is my Michelle on? I have not seen my uh, Michelle on tonight. You almost said my Michelle. I did. You I almost like, said I my Michelle. I better not say that. So. Oh, it's all right. Just Michelle. She's our Michelle. Michelle. Uh, Lolly says Andy dated Olivia Newton John. Oh. He was quite the heartthrob. He was a good looking young man. Had the, the documentary stated he had some had some issues with um, with uh, drugs and he he passed away. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Marilyn Scroggins is on here. Hi, Mama. She Thank says, you, Mama. Trees are meh. She said the trees are meh. She said trees are meh. Oh my gosh, my mom did not say that. <laughs> huh? She would not say that, Matt Woods. Uh, Marlene still would like to know if you got all your paperwork done today. I did, girl. I closed the door, turned on Christmas music, put my phone away, and got it done. I did. Yep, moving on. We have Kelly Weiler coming on in the Creative Connection tomorrow at 1 o'clock. She's going to do um, some intuitive painting with us as a, as a, in our group. And then, um, actually, Friday we have a, well, we have a funeral Friday to go to um, Friday. Friday afternoon. But we should be here Friday. And then, of course, we're going to miss Friday the 25th, you guys. You'll know, you know that. We're going to miss Christmas Day. Okay, so we need a fence, right, guys? I think we should do a small little fence. Or maybe like a broken fence, but with a gate. Okay, I can do it. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Let's just try it. I, I'll paint over it if I don't like it. Okay. Um, let me think about Haley Anderson. Hi, Dion. Admiring your beautiful work as always. Miss you lots. Haley Anderson, how are you, dear? How are you? Thank you. I'm going to use a palette knife for this. So it's kind of choppy, kind of wood-like. So I'm going to throw out one of the what? songs that I was listening to. Oh, my gosh. We're still on the Bee Gees? You know, it's kind of on my brain right now. Okay. I want to be real honest All right. with you. Well, I, I don't want anything but honesty, buddy. Um. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. You did, I didn't say sing. That's a good song. Though. That's the one that was on. And what movie did we decide that was in, baby? Uh, it's actually in uh, Night at the Museum. Night at the Museum. Battle of the Smithsonian. Thank you, Tasha. We appreciate you. All right. So, I just want to creep of it like a little I think that's been in several of my days okay I guess he's soft because she'll start yelling at me yelling the color caboose says staying alive song is the perfect rhythm for CPR chest compressions okay wow i've never thought of it but it actually is huh i need just a little simple little fence teaspoon the sky is so beautiful Thank you, dear. 
I started, I thought I would mess with it tonight. And then I thought, don't mess with it, girl. You got it good. Don't mess with it. But I wanted to. Deb says Saturday night fever. Great. <laughs> um, Jasmine, she says, I just joined the waiting list for the creative connection. You do. So excited. I'm joining next year for sure. Girl, um, January 1st, you'll get an email. And I'll send it and say, hey, it's time. Mm -hmm. it, it's time. We are changing things up, adding a few more things, adding a few more experts, and really just, I've got three and a half years under my belt, so I feel I feel like I've got pretty, pretty good time management for it. That's a lot of information. Three and a half years that's available to people, too. Um, Haley Anderson is confirming yes. that that works for compressions. They told her that in class, CBR class. This is my Haley Anderson. Haley Anderson, is this my Haley Anderson on here? I, I don't know. Is she on to, YouTube or I'm Facebook? Not sure how to determine. Like, is this my cousin Haley Anderson or a different Haley Anderson? She's on the books. She's on the Facebook. Is this my family? I need to know. And she's like, uh, sure, no, if it's not. But I'm like, wait a minute, is that my girl, my cousin? She said, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Luann says your Good. snow drifts are perfect. Oh, thank you. I don't know if I've really done snow drifts before. Haley, I hope you and everybody are getting well. I am sad we're not going to see each other for Christmas. Very sad. It's going to be a lot of that going around this year. Yeah. I'm sorry, Miss Haley. I hope you and the baby and everybody are doing well. I think you should do a Christmas show. We could all sit around. On uh, Christmas Day? Yeah, we could just sit I around. I mean, I said I'd be here Christmas Eve. We could sit around. We're going to give away a painting. We could be in our PJs, sipping on some hot cocoa. You don't even wear PJs. S well, like, I mean, you're talking I'll, about jam, like on uh, sweatpants or I'll something? I'll put my underwear on. It's fine. What? I'll put Christmas underwear on. It's no big deal. And then we sit by the fire and we got our Santa Claus hats on. And, mm -hmm. Oh, good times. Christmas is going to look different for us. This year, as for a lot of people too. All right, so right now I'm just kind of playing. What does it need, guys? I don't want to overdo it, obviously. What does it need? What? I'm just wondering what's going on with your fence. Are you joking me right now? I'm not joking you. Right You're wondering what's going on with my fence? Yeah, I'm kind of curious what it's doing. I don't understand your question. Can't, how, what do you mean? I don't know which direction it's going. Is it going? It's up going this down? way. There's a gate right here, and the gate's crept open. It goes down because there's heels, honey. Okay. Like it's a okay. like it, the okay. road is right okay. here. Don't get mad. I'm just. What just are you saying, thinking? I don't know what's going on. With oh my the gosh, you gotta have an imagination to be on here, honey. Wow. For the love. You really gotta understand, doesn't it? Yeah, it's annoying. You. <laughs> know what you're talking about. Uh, read some red. I'm thinking the cabins. Uh, smoke coming out of the cabins. Oh, I was going to lighten up the windows, wouldn't I? I remember that, guys. Chimney? I think she got rid of the chimney, fellas. Ladies. What are you talking about? Chimney. It's right here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Boy, Mr. Woods. Mm. It's covered in snow, but... I'm going to put a little yellow fiery kind of glow inside one of these windows, okay? Tasha would like to see a snowman. A snowman? It's possible. Uh, but he would like to see a stream, wood pile, or a wagon. All right. Wagon. I've never drawn a wagon, guys. Is that something I should sketch first? Mm-hmm. 
Charlene says she loves it as is. Thank you. Uh, Nancy Williams, if you, it might be kind of hard to see now. I'm not sure, but she had a red cardinal in one of those trees. Yeah, there's a red cardinal right here. Kind of hard to see on the TV right now. Maybe some dogs playing. Sweetie, you know I can't draw dogs. Maybe, maybe, maybe some reindeer. I can't paint dogs. I think a bobcat would be pretty neat. Hmm. You know, I gotta put snow on the fence. The fence cat. that you don't know what is. I, I um, so there's a there's a red curtain right there. See it? I had to keep it in you know line in scale. Maybe a cougar. Or grizzly bear, or no. black bear. Black I don't bear. do animals, guys. Get some snow. Maybe a turkey, because you're a turkey. You're a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot, good one, Deb. Laura Hart. Hey, girl. I'm loving this picture. Oh, thanks, Laura. How are you and the family? I actually went to my my old blog posts, which are still available, guys. It goes back to 2012. Shows paintings and all of my work from day one. I started my business in 2010, so I've been painting for we're pushing on 11 years. But... Um, I used to, I started to blog in 2012 and I would post every single piece that I did. So it's been a really good reminder, kind of a like a portfolio for me to look back at and find stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, Wilson. Okay. All right. I say no wagon. Looks great as as it is, unless you want to put the abdominal snowman back in there somewhere. Hmm. I'm kind of I'm kind of liking that. <laughs> okay. I feel like it's very busy. Janet would like for you just to paint her sledding. Paint Janet sledding. How about I put Janet in some roller derby skates? Uh, there's been maybe a few ornaments to a tree or maybe some Christmas lights to one of the trees. Maybe that would be kind of a good idea. I'm not feeling any of it. No, not feeling it? I'm not feeling any of that. A little Pam Dudley. I thought I would put like a wreath, but then I didn't want it to just be Christmassy. I yeah. wanted it to be wintry, but not necessarily Christmas. Dad would like to know if you self or if you're self-taught. I am completely self-taught. I have never had a class of any kind. Um, so when I started ten years ago, I just have taught myself everything. No. Okay. All right. So a light. I can do a light. Um, what about maybe um, Delisa is really begging for a cardinal on the fence. So put another one down here. Okay. Because it does have one in the tree, but I can put a second one so it's not all around. Is that a good idea for me? Kind of running out of room for a pond. A pond? It's kind of hard to do a light, but I'm going to try to Try to make it look like it. I'm using the Tipsy brush from Paint Pixie, the turquoise iris brush. Uh, teaspoon, the Star of Jesus, a very faint one. Maybe. I would, maybe need, I would need to look at that, or I might, I'm worried I'll mess up without looking at one since I haven't painted it before. Ooh, 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 ooh. I need to put snow on the window seals. All right, keep coming with the ideas. Oh, there's tons of them. Well, keep Betty, telling me. Betty, right now, I'm not feeling much of it. Betty wants a stream. A string of lights? No, stream of water. Oh. All right, and I'm. I like the idea, Betty. I just, I'm not sold enough for this picture. There's a lot of trees. And there's a lot of trees. And there's two cardinals. That's a lot. Uh, 
Um, I feel like I might be. Yes, busy. Nancy, the song is stuck in my head. In mine too. Mine too. Okay. You I'll just... be singing that all night. A moon, says Deb. All right, a second cardinal on here. So we have a mate, mates, although one of them, females are not red, right? Or are they? D says it's busy and throws all the colors on a human sized canvas. <laughs> I'm sorry? It's, it, she was just commenting. I was reading it. It's funny. She's saying, you say it's busy, but you've got all these colors on it. <laughs> it's a compliment. Okay. All right, a wood pile. Okay, how do we do a wood pile, guys? Matt, do you know how to do a wood pile? Yes, teaspoon. I agree. She would like to see a ladybug somewhere. Oh, stop that right now, Missy. <laughs> okay, let's get a pile of wood in here. Lisa Dixon says female cardinals are brown with a little red. Getting, get pretty serious over there, right? Well, honey, I don't use a tipsy brush very often. I don't do these small things. Do you, think they, do you think they call it tipsy brush because you have to be tipsy to use it? Because I named it the tipsy because it comes to a tip, babe. It's a liner brush. Were you tipsy when you named it? Sure. Wow. No, stinker. Maria Alcock. This is beautiful. Thank you. Hi from South Africa. Oh, hi from South so glad Africa. To have you from South Africa. I'm so glad you're here. I really need to create a map. A map, a check-in map for a everybody. A check-in map, and then we can start checking off the list of countries, states. That'd be pretty cool. I've never painted a stack of wood before. I think you're doing a good job. It's kind of. It's I don't really, even know what it is. Well, it's really hard to tell um, because it's so small. Well, it's supposed to be small. But it's from, from, it's but, like no, from no, a no, distance up by the house. But from here, it looks it looks it looks good. I don't know, guys. Do we leave this stack? I don't know what a stack of wood looks like. It's pretty good, honey. Are you I've sure? Seen a, I've seen a stack of wood or two in my day. Yeah. It's pretty close. <laughs> when we had a wood burning in our first house, remember when we lost power because of the snow the ice storm? Yeah, a long time. Elijah was only three months old. And so we had to um, sleep in the living room because we lost power. We had to sleep in the living room. He was in his cradle, and you and I slept on the floor and made a pallet. And you had to wake up every once in a while, every hour, and like shift the wood. You would have you had to go get a bunch of wood, try to get it to dry out, keep keep me and the baby warm. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. They woke up every couple hours, stoked the fire up before logs on. Yeah. And the next morning, because my parents didn't have power either, and we all had to go stay somewhere. Where did we go? Everybody oh. was out. Yeah, it was <laughs> bad. It, really it was so we bad. Um, Delisa Sims says, hashtag done. <laughs> uh, Gallimucci, uh, do you enjoy increment work or the free range on larger canvas? Totally free range on larger canvas. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying this, guys. Trust me. I'm, I, I like it. But this is, I don't do small detailed work at all. And then Tasha made a splatter of white of snow flower, snow falling. Splatter Little white. Miss I, I think Little Miss Iris did had a show about how to make snow, right? With paint. Didn't she do that one time? I don't remember that. I'm mm, pretty sure she did. Hmm. She was pretty cool. 
she did is cool. Um, Roberta Whitmore says, detail work is what I enjoy. I know, and you're so good at it, Bertie. Bertie, you are so good at it. This chick over here doesn't have a lot of patience. I think Lolly, um, she's asked, I think she's asking you, do you have any iridescent paint? Hmm, I just have the golden ticket, but I don't really have iridescent. What do you think? Thank you, Tasha. You're sweet. I was thinking about the little iris today. Oh, thank you. Maria, if you have been here for three years, you are part of the family. <laughs> um, so iridescent. I only have golden ticket and copper. It's the only thing I have that's got shimmer shim in it. Where are you thinking? I mean, I can add some golden ticket if you guys think. But we should. where would you put it? I don't know. Like, where where would we put the shimmer? I don't know because the way it looks right now, it's pretty darn good. Honey, are you impressed with me? I'm actually impressed. The shading is really good. The snow looks great. The, the sky is pretty phenomenal. Thank you, sweet cheeks. Um, the trees are really good. Um, so I don't know if I would do much, much more to it other than kind of what you're doing right now. Oh, I'm putting a little more of the lavender because I can. Because you just want to. Yeah, because I need more color. So this little, this little bit of um, the lilac that we have, I don't want to add stuff to it as far as things. Like, yeah. But I will put a little bit of this on the snow on the fence that doesn't look like a fence, says Matt. I hope everybody's having a good evening, a good day. We're halfway through our week. Tomorrow is Thursday. Like I said, if you're in the Creative Connection, Miss Kelly Weiler is joining us at 1 o'clock Central Time to do an intuitive painting. And then Friday we'll have our Q&A. Uh, Deb says copper, copper chimney shimmer oh, okay. on the chimney. Okay, I could do that. That's a good idea. Yeah, I, I could do that. And oh, there he is. Okay, so no more of the lilac, but now I feel like it's everywhere, not just on the trees. I sold a bunch of aprons today, you guys. Thank you so much for the apron sales. I think they make great gifts, and they're a good price point at $43. Um, and another thing, if you haven't checked out the podcast, do so. They're really good. Oh, we have a new one tomorrow. It's Vicky with Taddy to Natty Furniture. She's in the UK. Oh my gosh, she does amazing work on her furniture too. And she was so sweet and so smart. So smart. Um, Matt, they're asking for copper. So if you don't mind grabbing me that copper on that shelf right there. Can you from heaven? Yes, please. We'll do that. And then we'll sign off tonight. My daughter moved out today. I'm officially an empty nester. More time for lives and creating now. Oh my goodness. Hugs to you. Vicky, Taddy, to Natty. Love her. Yes, she's wonderful. Matt, you're going to need to open it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Um, Joanna, we are actually working on the shipping. My um, web designer is working on it all week to week. She's sending me like messages daily and we're going back and forth getting Canada shipping set up in the next few days. Um, so my thing is I just needed somebody to do it for me because I can't do everything by myself. And so I have passed that on to her and she's working on getting it set up on my website right now. Like she probably, she may even be done. But um, I don't know how to do shipping tables and neither does Matt. And so um, we're working on doing that. We'll ship paintings and our apparel and the handbags to Canada. 
Okay, a little copper on the chimney, you said? Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. She says, Matt, when I wake up at 6 a.m. singing that song, I'm going to be cussing your name. <laughs> no, you won't be cussing my name because you'll be too busy singing, More than a woman. Oh, then I won't to me. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> Teaspoon said, are you H-A-P-P-Y? Yes. All right. So I'm going to put a little of it in the window. Some chimney smoke. I already put some on there. You just, it's there, babe. I know. It's just kind of hard for them to see. Um, I can bring the camera closer. Yeah, just whatever. I mean, it's fine. Oh, no. I, don't get mad at me. I've done me. it. Please don't get mad at me. We were having such a good day. I was staying out of your way. You were in your little zone back there in your office. You the paper zone? And, yeah, you were back there in your zone. You were having a good day. I was having a good day. Where else should I put it? I know we, we talked about no, really, but I will bring the painting closer to the camera so you can see it really well, Golden. Take it very lightly on snow makes good light shining. I can see how you would do it, but I don't think I can do it. Uh, Roberta says, "Golden." No, I just very, read that. I just I'm read sorry, that out loud, babe. My, my mistake. I was just talking to her because I just don't know how to do it. Joanne, I am a beaten puppy. I've been beat down. Oh, they feel so sorry for you, Woodsy. Well, she does. She feels sorry for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I only tease you when you don't listen and you repeat the comment that I already read. I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you, Teaspoon. Uh, Lolly Lolly says, light eyeshadow down. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which brush to use. Maybe a mop. I don't know. Well, if you wanted layers, by gosh, you got it. This girl? Mm-hmm. This girl? All right. See the glow in the windows? Good night, Karen. Good night, Karen. Honey, have a good Thursday. Yes, Teaspoon, I'm here for you, girl. You make tiny line of golden ticket and smear it with your finger. LOL. I like your cardinal. Thank you. There's two. Um, you make it sound so easy, Birdie. Come do it for me. I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. Okay, I'm going really slow, but I'm getting my direction. I'm directionally challenged on here. Very pretty, even though I hate winter. Right, Joanne? <laughs> Bertie says, I'd love to. Thanks, you guys. Y'all are so supportive and amazing. Thank you. So we have to get the address for, for Tasha and ship this to her. Um, if you want me to start another one, let me know. Um, oh, my gosh. That's awesome. You really amaze me, Dion. Vintage Vibes, thank you, Fist Bump. Boop, boop. Thank you, Derek. Have a good evening. Thanks, Derek. No more. Don't touch it. Glitter or mica on the snow? Nope. I'm not gonna, Betty. I'm sorry. I'm too scared. I need to practice it on something before I do it. Yeah, but I have everything just the way I want it because I blended it first and then put the treat. No, I can't do it. I'm not looking at it like that way. I'm looking at it like, girl, you could screw this up. Everybody have a great night. I appreciate you. And we'll see you back tomorrow, 830 Central Time for another episode of The Paint Talks. More than a woman. Oh, my word. More than a See everybody. I'm not doing more. No. More than Thank a woman. you.